Welcome to this edition of Tech Talk. I'm Eric Long, Technical Services here at American Weather Star. Today I'm going to be going over stretch factor and how to determine stretch factor when working on metal roofs. Stretch factor is a very important thing to consider when working with coatings on a building is because just because the building is 1,500 square feet doesn't mean the roof is 1,500 square feet. The surface area of that metal roof is going to be a lot larger. So when you go to determine stretch factor, you only need a measuring tape and a marker and a calculator preferably. To determine the stretch factor, you're going to have your start point. What you want to do is you want to put a little mark exactly where your tape is when you start. Then you just want to firmly push the tape along the panels until you reach the end of the tape. Now that I've hit my 36 inch mark, I'm going to mark my end point here. Once you have your two points marked, then you're going to take your tape and do a straight line measurement from one point to the next point and record your measurement. I'm recording 34 inches. So now that we got our measurements, 36 inches and 34 inches, what you're going to need to do is divide 36 by 34. In this case, we have a multiplier of 1.06 or a stretch factor of 6%. Now keep in mind this does not include the waste factor, which you should always account for as well. You don't always have to do this for every roof. American Weather Star has actually produced a document, Metal Roofing Estimating Guide, which has composed the average stretch factors for the typical type of profiles that you'll come across on a roof. You can find this document on our website, www.americanweatherstar.com. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Tech Talk.